F-47 fighter jet flying, nothing in the world comes even close to it. It's virtually unseeable. That's what the president said, and the Air Force has even labeled it Stealth Plus Plus, world's fastest stealth fighter. So the question is, if the F-22 shows up on enemy radar like a marble, then how small is the F-47? Some say less than a mosquito. That's a metaphor, of course, but it captures the scale of what the Air Force claims. For five years, this ghost aircraft has been flying quietly in test ranges, and only now the secrets are starting to emerge. In this video, I'll explain what Stealth++ Plus Plus actually means, how Stealth has evolved from the F-117 to the F-35 and F-22, and how the F-47 pushes it further. We'll break down radar invisibility, infrared hiding, and even how brand new engines reduce a plane's heat signature. We'll also explore why combining Mach 2 plus speed with deep stealth was once considered impossible, and how the F-47 may have solved it, and the cost and controversy behind this mega project. To understand Stealth Double Plus Plus, you first need the quick history of stealth. In the 1970s, DARPA's Have Blue experiments proved that aircraft could be designed to deflect radar waves instead of reflecting them. This became the F-117 Nighthawk, the first operational stealth jet. The F-22 Raptor then refined the idea, adding aerodynamic performance to stealth. The Raptor's radar cross-section, or RCS, is often described as appearing the size of a marble on radar. The F-35 Lightning took the stealth playbook further by integrating advanced sensors and electronic warfare, though its RCS is generally thought to be slightly larger than the F-22s. Now comes the F-47. On an official Air Force graphic, it's labeled Stealth++. Plus Plus. That doesn't mean they've released its radar signature. Those numbers remain classified. What it does mean is that the Air Force considers it a new category of low observability, beyond both the Raptor and the Lightning. Think of stealth as coins on a table. If the F-35 is a quarter, and the F-22 a marble, the F-47 belongs in an even smaller box, one the Air Force simply calls Stealth++. Plus Plus. But stealth isn't just radar. To be truly invisible, a jet has to manage three major signatures, radar reflection, infrared heat, and electronic emissions. Radar stealth comes from shaping, like carefully angled mirrors that deflect radar beams away, and from materials that soak up energy. That's why modern stealth jets have sharp edges aligned at specific angles, serpentine inlets that hide the engine fan, and internal weapon bays instead of external pylons. Infrared stealth is harder. Even if radar can't see you, the heat of your exhaust and skin can. Sensors detect this glow easily. And then there's emissions control. A fighter broadcasting on radar gives itself away, so modern stealth jets use low probability of intercept radars and fuse data from many sensors to minimize their own emissions. Here's the paradox. Stealth and speed usually don't go together. Why? Because going faster than Mach 2, that's over 1500 miles per hour, generates enormous heat. That heat lights up infrared detectors like a flare, undoing all your careful radar stealth. So historically, engineers faced a brutal choice. Build for speed or build for stealth? The F-47 is America's attempt to solve both. The secret lies in its engines. Next Generation Adaptive Propulsion, or NGAP. These new engines, like Pratt & Whitney's XA-103 and GE's XA-102, are three-stream adaptive cycle designs. That means they can literally reconfigure airflow in flight. In high-thrust mode, they act like a turbojet, pouring power into the core for supersonic speed. In cruise mode, they open a third bypass stream, routing cooler air around the core, improving fuel efficiency and cooling the jet at the same time. Think of it as an engine with three gears instead of two. That extra bypass stream works like a built-in heatsink, reducing exhaust temperature, hiding the jet from heat-seeking missiles, and giving it longer legs without guzzling fuel. Industry claims these adaptive engines are up to 25% more fuel efficient than today's F-35 engines. And more importantly, they provide much better thermal management. That's how the F-47 can chase Mach 2 Plus while still cutting its infrared signature. Not perfectly invisible, but a much harder target to lock onto. Now let's talk about shape. The F-47 is tailless, no vertical stabilizers at all. Why? 
because vertical tails reflect radar from the sides, dramatically increasing signature. By eliminating them, designers reduce radar return from multiple angles. Instead, the F-47 uses a diamond-like, blended wing body profile. Think of a manta ray, smooth and wide, deflecting radar waves upward or downward instead of back at the source. This idea isn't brand new. Boeing's Bird of Prey demonstrator in the late 1990s already proved that tailless stealth aircraft could slash radar signatures by orders of magnitude. The F-47 is the mature form of that concept, scaled up and adapted for real combat. But stealth plus plus doesn't just mean radar. It means reducing visibility across the electromagnetic spectrum. Infrared, for instance. Modern detectors can pick up even faint heat glows. The adaptive cycle engines help hide exhaust heat, but engineers go further. The F-47's exhaust nozzles are carefully shielded, possibly using slit-shaped outlets and advanced cooling methods to mix hot gases with cooler air before they leave the aircraft. The result? a reduced infrared plume that makes heat-seeking missiles far less effective. Not true invisibility, but a moving target that appears much dimmer than anything flying today. Stealth++ Plus Plus also covers the invisible war of sensors. The F-35 was famous for fusing radar, infrared, and electronic data into a single 360-degree picture. The F-47 takes that logic further. There are credible hints that the entire skin of the aircraft may act as a destroyer sensor, sometimes called a smart skin. Instead of one big nose radar dish, hundreds of embedded arrays could cover the fuselage, turning the whole jet into a giant, flexible eye. This would mean fewer external protrusions, fewer seams to bounce radar, and a level of situational awareness far beyond even the Raptor. But stealth isn't just about the jet itself. The F-47 is designed as the quarterback for a team of drones called Collaborative Combat Aircraft, or CCA. The plan is around 1,000 CCAs, supporting fewer than 200 F-47s. Each drone can extend sensors, carry weapons, or act as decoys. Together, they magnify the ghost effect. On radar, an enemy might see an entire squadron, but not know which aircraft are human-piloted and which are expendable drones. This swarm capability makes the F-47 more than a stealth jet. It makes it the silent commander of an invisible fleet. But ghost technology isn't cheap. Each F-47 is expected to cost nearly $300 million, making it the most expensive fighter jet in history. So here's what I want to ask you. If America really has a jet that's invisible to radar and infrared, how would you stop it? Could any country defend against that? Would an invisible jet make you feel safer? Or does it make the world even more dangerous? Will it start a new stealth race? And if full-spectrum invisibility becomes real, radar, heat, even satellites, should America use it first or keep it secret forever? Think about it. What happens when no one knows who's in the sky above them? I want to know your answer. Tell me in the comments, because this is a conversation every American needs to have. And if this video gave you a new way of looking at stealth technology, then do me one favor. Share it with one friend who loves defense, tech, or mega projects as much as you do. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next breakdown. And finally, thank you. You chose to spend your precious time here, and that means the world to me. Until next time, stay curious.